In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the oil pan in this Volkswagen Beetle. Let's get into it. With the drain bucket underneath, I'm gonna use a 17 millimeter wrench. We're gonna drain the oil, loosen up the drain plug. Pull that off. I take the drain plug and reinstall it. Snug that up. We want to remove the cover. There's a bolt right here. Just use a hex socket or a hex key, eight millimeter, and remove this bolt. It should slide down. On the back side of the cover, there's two retainers. You want to just take a pick or even a punch and just in the center, just push up. Push the center up, and that'll pop out a pin on both sides. Get the pin out, just grab the cover, and pull that down. We're gonna take these three bolts out. There's one up there, one there, and one there. Use a 16 millimeter socket. Loosen those up, and take them out. One we're gonna have to get a wrench on. Just using a 16 millimeter ratchet wrench. Slide those out. Using a 10 millimeter socket and a extension, we're gonna take, there's four bolts that are hidden up in these areas right here. We'll take those bolts out. out. Those are all up. And take out the rest of the bolts using a 10 millimeter socket. You can loosen them first. Just crack them all free. There's two in the front. Take those off or loosen them. those all out. On the back side, there is two areas to pry. Just use a small pry bar and make sure you support the oil pan when you're doing this. Like 
popped loose like that. And it just slides down out of the way. Just gonna take a razor blade and just scrape off any of the excess gasket material. You can use a scraper as well. Spray it with some brake parts cleaner and wipe it off with a rag. And take your gasket, line the gasket up with all the holes. That looks good. We'll get ready to install this. Now in the four corners of the engine where the two metals meet, you just want to put a little dab of RTV. Right there and right there. That's good. Now slide the oil pan in position. Just make sure the gasket stays with it. Get a couple bolts started. And get all the other bolts started. Now we're going to tighten all these down. Now we're going to go back and forth from the center, working our way out and torque these to 11 foot pounds. The two middle ones, do the best you can with those. And the three bolts in the back, get those started. Tighten those down. And tighten that down. Make sure those are all snug. Good. Now to take the cover, line the cover up. On the back side, you want to take those push pins, 
Slide those in place. Push those up. Just gonna use a socket to push this one up. And then the center pin, you wanna push those in. Just push those up just like they came out, but don't push them all the way through. Just up enough. Do the same on this one. And take the front bolt, get that started. And tighten that down. And we're going to torque the drain plug to 22 foot pounds. That's good. I'm going to take the oil cap off, put a funnel in there. And use the appropriate oil. We're using 5W30 synthetic oil. This engine takes a little less than four and a half quarts. We put four quarts in right now. We can put the cap on and we can start the vehicle, run it for about 15 seconds, shut it off, let it sit for about a minute, and then we can check the level. Pull the dipstick out, wipe it off with a rag first. You can see where on the dipstick the oil level is, and you want it in between these hash marks. If it's down near the lower end of it, you want to add the other half a quart of oil. When only the best will do, demand TRQ the only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.